What's up guys, my name is Tetos and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can record your games with Replay.gg. If you sign up for this website or service, it will send you your replays via email and you can then choose to either download a batch file or a shell file if you're on Mac or you can just copy the code I will show you later and execute it with your command window on Windows or shell window on Mac. So as you heard, it also works for Mac, which is a great thing because there isn't really any other software that works for it or program. So if you're on Mac, use replay.gg. Also, it doesn't have a limit for ELO or something like that, like LOLKING, so anybody can use it, you just have to sign up. How you do it? I will tell you now. So first off, you open your clan, you go to any rune page and you click on it, you rename the rune page to replay.gg as so and then click enter and save the rune page however i've already signed up so i'm not gonna do that but if you don't change the uh, name of your rune page you will get an error message when trying to sign up so i'm going to undo the changes there, of course and proceed with the sign up process you just enter summoner name your replay uh, your email and this replay once more then the region you're on and then you click this checkbox here which will basically check if you're a robot or a spammer and then you submit. Once you've submitted your details, it should work already, but sometimes, you know, maybe if it doesn't work immediately, wait a couple of minutes and then try it again if it hasn't really checked the rune page name yet. Other than that, let's proceed. You go to your emails once you've played some games, because if you've signed up correctly, it will send you all the games via email. So play the games and then go to Gmail or wherever you're, you've signed up for. And then you will, if you've set up a filter like me, see all these replays here. So you can see when it was played, if it was a loss or a win. And the interesting thing is, once you open an email, you can either click on the link to the match history, which is the official match history, which is a nice feature actually. So you can track what happened, what you've built and stuff like that, build order, etc. But also, more importantly, there is a link to the replay always in the email. And if you don't want to receive these emails anymore, you can unsubscribe. There is a link in every email. So for now, let's click on the replay link. And you can see here there are four options. You can either use the Windows option, the Windows alternative option, or if you're on Mac, you can use these two, which I won't cover in this video, but they work the same as in, you know, as for Windows. So let's show the easy way first. If you don't really know how to open a command window, you can just press Windows alternative see the patch file, click on the download button, the patch file will be downloaded, you open the download folder of course and then just double click it, execute this thing and it should work already. However, your League of Legends has to be opened. Not logged in, so don't think they will steal your account info, just open the League of Legends launcher and then click on launch but don't log in, you can just leave it open like this, otherwise it won't work. So keep that in mind, I'm getting so many messages all the time where people are complaining that stuff doesn't work, but they just go about it the completely wrong way. As you can see here, it's loading perfectly fine. Already can skip ahead and look how I'm leaning against this Vladimir. So yeah, also works with the low camera tool. So if you want to make some montages, some nice edits, you can do so with replay.gg replace and the skin spotlights camera tool. Let's exit this because I also want to show the second you know, way to, to do it because you don't even have to download anything. If you're scared about it or if your browser or antivirus somehow acts up, you can also just copy all this. Just click once inside, I think, yeah, once inside and then just go copy or control C. Then you either go to Windows Start and Run or you just press the shortcut, which is the Windows key and the R key, so Windows R which opens this little window here, you put in CMD for command, something like this will open and then you copy everything and it should work. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so I did everything right because I wasn't sure if the uh, League of Legends client was still open after I've exited the previous replay, but it was still open so it works fine. As you can see we're loading into the game again and there really isn't much more to say than that. This is how the replays work. I already told you how to unsubscribe if you don't want to use this service anymore. Other than that, you know, it's just same thing as always, basic spectator. 
mode it always uses the same you know league of legends official spectator or client so to speak and if you want to again use custom camera angles you can do so if you use this coupled with the skin spot that's camera tool which i also have a tutorial on but replay.gg seems to be pretty popular right now because it's very very low uh, bandwidth you know it basically doesn't require any bandwidth or system resources because you just sign up for the service there isn't anything running in the background you don't have to transmit data to the servers for from uh, replay.gg because they just do that automatically so you can just lean back play your games record the let let them record the games for you yet then you can you know check your emails and filter them look for the re replays download them or just you know run this command script then you know Try to improve, look for your mistakes, or work on a montage or a nice video, like I'm doing it frequently. So that's about it, I think. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm done. So thanks for watching, as always. Until next time, bye bye.